Packers friends, hold on tight. Sunday is an epic battle day in Green Bay. We're ready to take on the 49ers, and the implications are huge. This matchup is about more than just a win or a loss. It's about proving who we are as a team and as fans. Curious about why this game is crucial for the Packers and the 49ers? Then come with me, because this is going to be a hot one, the Packers and. For Niners are at a critical juncture in the season, and this game promises to be a game changer. For Green Bay, it's an opportunity to solidify their playoff position by showing that Jordan Love and company are ready to take on the next big challenge. On the other side, the 49ers face maximum pressure, as a loss could all but end their NFC hopes. Historically, duels between Packers and 49ers carry emotional and strategic weight. Both teams have passionate fans and a history of decisive meetings, especially in the playoffs. Despite being a regular season game, the psychological impact of a win here could reverberate well into January, when the playoff lights shine even brighter, more than just the schedule. This game is about identity. The Packers need to prove they are consistent and capable of beating big teams. The 49ers, on the other hand, are hungry to regain confidence and show that their record doesn't reflect the team's true potential. This is more than a game, it's a statement of who is truly ready for the big moments. Jordan Love is in an interesting phase. After a shaky first few weeks, he has shown signs of improvement, as we saw against the Bears. His confidence has grown, but Sunday's challenge is on a whole new level. He will face one of the most aggressive defenses in the NFL, led by the always dangerous Nick Bosa, who has the potential to turn games around on his own. For Love, the key will be staying calm under pressure and executing on third down situations, something that has been a weakness for the team this season. Explosive plays will be important, but consistency is what will make the difference. He doesn't have to be perfect, but he needs to avoid silly mistakes like turnovers that can completely change the dynamics of the game. Additionally, Love will have to trust his playmakers. Christian Watson has shown he can be a reliable target, and Aaron Jones, if available, will be essential in relieving the pressure on the quarterback. This is a chance for Love to show the world that he can lead this team in big games, and perhaps write his name and into the history books of the rivalry against the 49ers. The Packers' defense has started the season with a bang, but injuries have been a persistent problem. Here Alexander, the cornerstone of the secondary, remains a question mark, and his absence leaves a huge hole in coverage against talented receivers like Debo Samuel and Brandon Ayuk. Without him, the defense's game plan becomes much more complicated. Another critical area is the defensive line. Kenny Clark, despite dealing with a toe injury, needs to lead the charge against the 49ers ground attack, which revolves around Christian McCaffrey. The running back is a dual threat, running and catching and requires constant attention. Without a solid performance from the front seven, McCaffrey could dominate the game. There are glimmers of hope, though. Players like Edger and Cooper have shown flashes of greatness, especially on option reads and holding mobile quarterbacks. If the defense can combine quarterback pressure with consistent tackling, the Packers have a chance to keep the game close. But it all starts with discipline and flawless execution. Lambeau Field in late November is a weapon that only the Packers have. With frigid temperatures and rabid fans, Green Bay transforms into one of the most intimidating environments in the NFL. Warm weather teams like the 49ers often struggle to adapt, especially on night games when the cold is even more intense. Additionally, the atmosphere at Lambeau creates a ripple effect. Players like Jordan Love and A.J. Dillon feed off the energy of the crowd, while opponents can feel the psychological pressure. The noise makes communication difficult, especially for the opposing offense, and every snap becomes a challenge for the visiting team. But be warned, the 49ers are no strangers. To tough situations, we've seen this team win big road games in adverse weather conditions. For the Packers, it will be essential to keep the momentum going early. Using Lambeau's energy as a catalyst for a dominant performance, 
The 49ers offense is one of the most versatile in the NFL, with Brock Purdy leading a unit full of lethal weapons. Christian McCaffrey is the heart of this offense, but Debo, Samuel, and George Kittle add layers of complexity that make their plays difficult to predict. For the Packers, the key will be to force mistakes and limit explosive games. Our defensive line will play a key role. Players like Ration Gary and Preston Smith need to consistently pressure Purdy, preventing him from having time to exploit receivers. Additionally, containment in the run game will be critical if McCaffrey has room to run, the 49ers offense can control the clock and the pace of the game. On the other hand, the 49ers offensive line has shown vulnerabilities, especially against quick pass rushes. This is an opportunity that the Packers should exploit. The defense needs to be aggressive and take advantage of every gap to force punts and, who knows, turnovers that could change the course of the game dot to beat a team as complete as the 49ers. The Packers need to execute with precision in three key areas. The first of these is protecting Jordan Love. The offensive line will face a huge challenge against Nick Bosa and company, who are experts at pressuring quarterbacks and forcing mistakes. If Love doesn't get time in the pocket, the offense could quickly fall apart. The second point is clock. Control, using a Jay Dillon and Aaron Jones, if he plays to establish the running game will be crucial. Keeping the 49ers offense off the field not only helps the defense rest, but it also frustrates the rhythm of a team that relies on its offensive creativity to win. The longer the Packers can maintain possession, the better, ultimately, efficiency in the red zone will be decisive against the NFL's best. Red zone defense last week, the Packers scored three touchdowns, but also wasted a few opportunities. We can't afford to leave there with just three points. Each visit to the red zone must end with maximum enjoyment. Despite sitting at 5-5, the 49ers are much better than their record suggests. After a dominant start to the season, the team has struggled with injuries and inconsistencies that have impacted their performance. However, with players like Christian McCaffrey, Debo Samuel, and George Kittle back, they remain one of the most dangerous teams in the NFC. Brock Purdy, despite the criticism, has shown maturity beyond his experience, leading decisive drives at crucial moments. He may not have the flash of more experienced quarterbacks, but he is effective in Kyle Shanahan's system. The 49ers offense is designed to maximize the talents of its playmakers, which makes it very difficult for opposing defenses. What makes the 49ers even more dangerous is their ability to adapt. Whether it's adjusting the game plan mid-game or exploiting specific weaknesses in the opponent, Shanahan is a master at setting his team up to win. As such, the Packers need to be ready for anything, especially unexpected plays that could turn the tide.